Where am I at? Oh, there I am. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review a very crazy old Jess Franco film called Virgin Amongst the Living Dead. Well, it's called Virgin Among the Living Dead, but I keep wanting to say Amongst the Living Dead. And I saw that on Fright Flix, and then I went to Facebook, and I found out some more information about it, a lot of stuff I didn't know. And uh, on YouTube, they have a thing of deleted scenes, uh, so you can see what was cut out of the movie. And it's weird. Let me go ahead and uh, go to Facebook. I can give you a little background about the movie first. I said, uh, let me see. Take these off. Okay. Said a virgin among the living dead is the 1971 Spanish French gothic horror film that was years later recut and redistributed to theaters as a zombie film. It was released in France in 1973 as Christina. In Italy in 1978, or another title with new porn inserts and, and featuring Alice Arno added to the film. Jess Franco has said that the original shooting title of the film was Night of the Shooting Stars. I said there's lots of different cuts of this movie. You know, people have been messing with it big time. And then uh, I actually bought it a long time ago, and it was so edited out. Like, there was one scene that was all blacked out, and I, I took it back. I was pissed back in the early 90s to uh, Mill Creek Mall. And... Uh, yeah, I didn't see. I didn't bother seeing the movie. I started seeing it, how censored it was. The version I got, and like, I took it back, you know. Well, anyways, uh, producer Marius uh, Lozier later had horror director Gene Roland direct some newly filmed zombie footage that was added to Franco's film for his 1981 re-release. At this time, the English dub was also recorded. Um, you know, okay. Well, that's what. That's the stuff I didn't know about. And on the version I saw on Fright Flix, uh, there was no zombie stuff in it. And if you check out the deleted scenes, they have the zombie stuff there. And it's really bad. I mean, the zombies come up. They're basically under a bunch of leaves. And they come up and they're like... And they have like all... They just have like some of their teeth were blacked out. And they go walk like this. And they, and they you know, and they chase the girl and they go up the thing. And then a couple of zombies... Stumble and fall. It's really funny and really bad. Uh, this whole movie is nuts. Uh, and usually, I, I, I usually enjoy really bad movies if they're entertaining. Sometimes they're bad movies that are absolutely terrible. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Um, as long as it's entertaining. There have been some really bad uh, movies out there that are just bad. But it's bad. If it's so bad, it's good. It's not bad. Anyways... About this girl, she goes to this hotel, and she's wait. Um, and they're expecting her, and they said she wants to go to this one castle. Um, I can't remember the name of the castle. It should say right here. No, in English to visit her strange relatives, a small castle. It doesn't say the name, but and then the lady at the bar, because the bar is the dessert. The lady at the bar stares at like this. No one lives at that castle. Anyone be crazy to go there? Something like that. And she goes in, in her room, and then a little later she comes down, she talks to this nurse, and she says, that, why would that lady say that no one lives there? Or, I know my family lives there. And she says, well, if you want to go there, just pursue it and uh, do what you have to do. And then all of a sudden, this one mute guy, played by none other than the director, Jess Franco, if I'm not mistaken. Where's it at? Yeah, Jess Franco's in there. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why I thought. And it's really, <laughs> he's really horrible in there. Like, there's a scene where he's holding a severed chicken chicken head and talking gibberish to it, and it's going like this. It's really bad. And he picks her up and takes her to this castle, and everyone there is like, um, like socially detached. Let's say it like that. Like staring off in space and talking. Or, Saying incoherent stuff. And there's one really uh, nice looking girl who's always smoking. And she can't, and her acting's bad. She can't cough right. So the thing, that's how bad her acting is. Um, when she goes to the, the, she's in the thumbnail. She's the one in the red. She's really nice looking though. And then that girl comes up to give her a kiss on the cheek. And then she turns around and kisses her on the mouth. It's really dirty like that. Um, and then it gets really weird. And then there's one girl that they said that's dying. 
And she goes to see her, uh, go up there, and she sees her, and that she takes her close to her and says, and she brings her close to her ear with the girl who's dying, and she goes up and says, Run! Run away! And then she dies like that. And then they have the funeral, and uh, basically the bodies pop up like this. The whole time, and then the, the guys are singing. Uh, the guy's playing, like, organ, and they're doing some weird chant or something like that. And the other girl, the nice-looking girl, is paying her toenails, which is really nice, really awesome. But, I mean, they don't show enough of that. But, I mean, it's it's so strange. It's so detached from anything you've ever seen. But it's really strange. Uh, I loved it. I mean, I just had a good time with the whole thing. Lots of nudity. And I wish my... Damn... I wish my dad would have seen it because there's lots of nudity and it's all full frontal because sometimes they just have the topless that's full frontal. Somewhere in the back, uh, other behind too. And I see what she gets there and she goes skinny dipping in this very questionable pond filled with lily pads and stuff like that. Like, you won't want any water moccasins or anything like that in it, you know. And these two old guys are looking and this one old guy has bugged out eyes. He ends up being a doctor. He's really nuts. And it's just funny because they're just staring like this and they start giggling at kids. Dee, dee, dee. And this one guy says, hey, get out of here. And he says, oh, you little twerp, we're leaving. And they run and he chases them off. Really funny stuff. I mean, I loved it. And the rest of the movie is just so strange. I mean, and there's and there are some dirty scenes in it that I thought, I didn't know if this would be an edited version or not. Uh, the one's scene I always heard, heard get cut with, I saw it was in the movie like uh, there's this one girl that's blind and she was standing all she was sitting on bed all the way up and the other girl the sexy girl in the red was in there and she was trimming her uh, she had a pair of scissors and she was trimming her uh, the other the blind girl's uh, pubic hair in her vagina right and then she had like a little mark and she was bleeding and she was and the girl was sucked in the blood and she said and the other girl came and said, "What you don't like? You don't like the taste of blood?" And it was pretty erotic, in its own strange way and stuff. It was, and they if they kept the scene going with her drinking the blood and stuff. You know, it was it was the whole movie's nuts. I mean, it's an old movie. I mean, people who don't know Jess Franco. Um, some of his movies are really good. And some of his movies are really bad. Some of some movies are just boring. I mean, he's had some movies that are really terrible. Not even entertaining. But this is a really bad one that's very entertaining. Like I said, um, there's different versions of the movie. There's so many different versions. And it's tough not to find one that's censored. I mean, I had this one. And then you can go, thank God for YouTube, you can go and look for the uh, deleted scenes. Even though they're really bad. Those zombies look like they are stupid. I mean, I don't know how they could be uh, really that happy with what the girl that girl did on there, but oh well. But I give, as far as I'm concerned, I give uh, Virgin Among the Living Dead a 10 out of 10. I loved it. It's a so bad, it's good movie. Because Jess Franco's done some other movies that are good, like I remember Bloody Moon ring at Platea when they used to have a uh, video rental place there. Ring that, and also like uh, Cannibal, which is some people consider the worst cannibal movie ever. I liked it. And you know, it's it's actually incredibly mean-spirited, though. But I did like the movie. He did one called Faceless, which it, and it made in 87, which I've always wanted to see. Um, I've never seen it before. Telly Savalas is in that. I, I, and that's like a big-budget one he did, like a Giallo film. I'd love to see that one. And uh, I've seen some other movies of his. I've seen his legitimate zombie movies like Oasis of the Zombies and uh, Zombie Lake. A little questionable, but, I mean, they were entertaining, but... They were weird, and I know my father and I saw uh, a long time ago when they, they had the underground on uh, Turner Classic Movies, we saw Venus and Furs. I, I'm glad I got to see that one. That was done, he did that in 1968. It's kind of like a weird cop type thing, but it was very strange. But I was like, as far as I'm concerned, 10 out of 10 for Virgin Among the Living Dead, and a special thank you for Tony for making an awesome thumbnail. And there's lots of sex appeal in that thumbnail with that girl, and that she was nice looking, man. I mean, she smoked all the time, and she was, like, fake coughing. It was funny, though, but I really enjoyed the movie. 10 out of 10 for Virgin Amongst the Living Dead. Um, though, not so wacko movie that the not so, equally not so wacko director Jess Franco did. Like, I did, like, I did that thing of uh, 
response to Christina's human centipede thing, I talked about the uh, um, story behind uh, one of the Wicked Warden, which Jess Franco did. And uh, I said, what the hell? I, I was on Fright Flix. I saw, I saw, I said, why not? Why not go ahead and watch it? I wish Dad would have seen it. I mean, he would have thought it was stupid, but he would have liked the nudity in it. So, oh well. A 10 out of 10 for Virgin Monks of Living Dead. Special shout out for Tony for making a super awesome thumbnail. Fantastic thumbnail, buddy. Thank you very much. And until next time, bye, please. Take care of my allegiance. <laughs>